Understanding, blow off, an English phrase explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're diving into a phrase you might have heard often, blow off. It's a versatile phrase with multiple meanings, so whether you're an English learner or just curious about language nuances, this video is for you. First, let's look at the literal meaning. Blow off can mean to remove or move something by a force of air. For example, the strong wind blew off the hat from his head. It's straightforward and is directly related to the action of blowing. Now, let's explore a more figurative use. In everyday language, when someone says they blew someone off, it means they ignored that person or avoided a meeting with them. For instance, he blew off his friends to play video games, means he ignored his friend's invitation or plan in favor of something else. Another common usage is in the context of dismissing or underestimating something. If someone says, she blew off the warnings as unimportant, it means she didn't take the warnings seriously. This usage is common in professional or casual conversations alike. It's helpful to know similar expressions. Phrases like, brush off, shrug off, or ignore, often convey similar meanings, especially in the context of ignoring or dismissing something. Understanding these can enrich your English communication skills. To deepen your understanding, let's see how blow off can change in different contexts. Social, I can't believe you blew off our dinner plans. Professional, he blew off the meeting, which seemed unprofessional. Casual or slang usage, just blow off your chores for now and come hang out with us. Let's practice. I'll give a scenario, and you think about whether blow off would be appropriate. 1. You decide not to attend a lecture. Would you say you blew off the lecture? 2. A leaf falls on your book, and you use your hand to remove it. Is this blowing off the leaf? And that's a wrap on blow off. We've seen how this phrase can be used literally and figuratively, in various contexts. Remember, understanding these nuances is key to mastering English. I hope this video helps you feel more confident in using and understanding blow off. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next linguistic adventure.